Same Day Affirmation, also called SDA, has become something of a buzzword, with many people agreeing of its benefits, but yet most of the market isn't making use of it. And this is especially true on the buy side. It, historically, they've had a lot of difficulty in, in incentivizing their clients to change because the, the lack of stickiness in the relationships. Um, brokers are worried that if they um, penalize inefficient processing by having higher costs, the client will simply go to another broker dealer. It's a very different dynamic than with uh, between an investment manager and a custodian where you have a much more embedded, sticky relationship. Yeah. And asking firms to shell out money for an automated network that few people are on seems to play a part of this. Whenever you're looking for a purchase of services and that purchase at the, at the uh, face of it looks to be an incremental cost, um, anybody is always going to ensure that they look through a process from end to end and incorporate the total cost of ownership of a particular process to ensure that bringing in something new and a, writing a new check in fact adds value to the firm. So if buy sides won't take SDA up voluntarily, is this something that will be mandated? Is ready to reply uh, to your question is certainly not at the moment. One major broker dealer told Axera that non-automated failure rates are twice as high than automated. So why hasn't this been brought to the forefront? So basically, I would say there is a lack of people who bring that subject to the to the fore. And uh, given that mo most of the policy we do is, uh, I would say, bottom up. Still many are afraid that offerings such as Omgeos are too expensive, but Brown feels it's more of an issue of value. So we've worked uh, very significantly, customer by customer, um, uh, with our new customer uh, opportunities to ensure that the price point for Omgeo services is absolutely consistent and appropriate, if you will, in terms of the value they get out of Omgeo solutions in the marketplace. Freeman believes the problem lies with the buy side's confusion of the cost. Brokers have found this very difficult. They, they've also been um, reluctant to talk about costs in a, in a fully detailed way because they're not actually sure they fully understand what their costs are. Um, and again, there's, there's a lot of improvement in this area of work going on to find, to find the, fully, um, the fully rounded cost of a transaction. A recent study commissioned by Omgeo from economics consultancy firm Oxera found that the buy side isn't pulling its weight. The Oxera study found a lot of difficulty in getting accurate per trade costs from some of our clients. It, it wasn't as easy as you might expect. Uh, especially difficult when you try to put together the, the cost of trading, the middle office cost of processing a trade, and then adding in the clearing and settlement cost can you normally incurred at the, at the custodian stage. So um, they are making progress in improving their own costs, but it's not as good as it should be. Using voluntary data from their customers, Omgeo have estimated that 200 million euros could be saved using SDA. Taking into account the overall volume in the market, the percentage of trades that uh, fail, and then the cost, the average cost of a failed trade. Um, and again, we took that input from a number of our customers. So we took the average of those uh, number of fails and the uh, cost of the fails and extrapolated that minimally there's a 200 million recurring annual euro savings to the marketplace if there was full adaptation of same-day affirmation processing. Canada has already taken the lead to make trade automation mandatory when shifting to settlement on T plus one. Uh, NI 24101 in Canada was, was recently passed and it, it absolutely intends to regulate market, like marketplace practices. It regulates the end, not the means, so the marketplace still um, has the opportunity and responsibility to seek out the best solution set to enable their adherence to that regulation. But not all hope is lost. The debate of SDA may still be explored by Sesame 2. What it could be is that same-day affirmation may be one of the ideas to be explored in the uh, forthcoming Sesame 2. So in the continuation of the Sesame group, and this is another group with, with little fantasy but in recognition of a good brand we have called Sesame 2. So in the Sesame 2 group we may have some discussion on same-day affirmation with the right actors that are broker-dealers and investment managers. With Global Custodian, I'm Abby Knight. Thank you.